back to Hedgehog Hollow. So today's crafting with Arteza two minute tip is a little bit different to usual because we have Laura back in the studio with us. Yes, and I'm so happy to be here. So have you ever done any, used any Arteza products, Laura? I, I have to admit, I have not, <laughs> but what a beautiful box. Like I, I want to open that box really badly. So yes, I'm excited about this. So in today's tip, I'm going to be showing you really quick and easy backgrounds. So you can use these for Christmas cards, cards the whole year round, but just super easy. So you can create bulk cards and like gift tags, gift tags, or even just backgrounds to use in your card because I am artistically challenged. I could probably manage a stick man, but that's, Hey, that's my thing. <laughs> but like, Don't take away my stick man I mean, stuff would not be as your kind of stick man. I'm thinking like <laughs> hangman. That would be as well as good as I can do. So I cannot draw, so I can color really well, but I like to be able to create my own backgrounds. So these are just quick and easy tips. So if they wanted to create 50 of the same Christmas card, okay, they could just they do could them rock all. these out really quickly, but they would look really effective. And you could just put a sentiment on this, add a die cut, and you would be done. And you'd have an adorable. Exactly. And if you didn't know, Laura has her own range of Sussex dies. So I you do. can go and check those out and add them onto these awesome backgrounds that I'm going to show you. So, I have a really cute Santa Claus hat. There you so go. So if you're doing a Christmas card. So you card. could just rock this on the top, yeah. add a happy holidays, off you go. Yeah. So I have two super simple ways. So we'll grab some glitters out. This box contains 54 <gasps> wow. microfine glitters. Now I also have mixed in some of the more chunky ones. These are separate. They come in packs of two. You can see really, really pretty colors and they're microfine, so they're easy. Oh, look at this one. And then on the top, you have either like a really open piece or you have like a pepper shaker. So you have two options. It's like sprinkles. Yeah. Really easy. So if you want to grab two Christmassy colors that you want. Oh, I do. I want to. That we do they have to be with. traditional? No. Or can I do like. You can do whatever you want. Like this. We'll do one for each a card. Raspberry and a green. That would be a really pretty. There we go. So we'll do Christmas one on mix. each card. Okay. Um, so the first one is really easy because I'm going to use this glue pen. So it's a bit like a highlighter. And you just kind of activate it by squishing it down. Okay. It's going to dry clear. So is we'll... that getting the tip wet? Is yes. what's happening? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just making sure it's wet. All right. And literally just freehand drag it across to create some freehand stripes. And can I do polka dots over here or what, what am I doing? So on the other one, if I get you to pour the glitter over on this one, I had a really like epiphany moment with the polka dots the oh, other day. Oh, okay. So I was playing around with an idea. So you're saying pour it over, just. Just pour it over. Just pour it over yep. like, because we're going to save what we don't. Exactly. Have. So open it up. Yep. So all I do is I take the tip off of my glue and I squeeze some out onto this glass mat. And if you haven't tried these glass mats, they're great because they clean up really, really easily. But all you do is, this is just one of those like finger daubers you use with inks mm -hmm. and stuff. Great. But if you dab it in glue rather than ink, it makes the perfect polka dot. Okay, it sure does. And so, you can make a polka dot background. Dot, 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 there you go. dot, 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 dot. I used to teach kindergarten, dot. so that, that would be, you, you always had to have something that you, they could say or sing along while they were doing their creating. Well, when we picked Tilly up today, they were singing the cutest song, oh, I have to And say. it's her birthday, too. Yes, so. it is today. We'll Are we doing this. green for this one? So we're going to do green Okay, for so this show one. me what, we have a lot of extra um, mm -hmm. glitter here I, that we don't so, waste that. Literally, all I do is do a tap. Okay. And there's your background. Oh, beautiful. But isn't that just so easy for a background so, on a card? I, I can do that. Leave that to dry. And then as I say, add a die cut to it, add a mm -hmm. stamped image to it, add a happy little holidays. Little things, little words. But of course you could use it the whole year round because it's just a striped background. Right, right. And then this is part one of two. Next week, I'm gonna show you how to do more of these easy, easy backgrounds. So you can use them the whole year round. And once this is dry, I use something called a surface sweep, which is like a big brush. And I just take off any excess, but I'd wait till the adhesive is Until dry. Until it's completely dry. Yeah. That makes sense. And so this we're gonna save. Yes. So I'll open this one up. Wait, here it comes. I think I always need your extra pair of hands. It's I'm in, easier. sign me up. <laughs> there we go. Oh wait, there's still more. I mean, these just last forever. I've been crafting there and crafting go. with these. Yeah. 
And now I'll put that on and I'll just some green for you. There you go. So what is, do you know what this is made of? It's just a micro fine. So it's okay. super fine ground, which gives it all of that extra sparkle. I mean, they also do these coarse glitters and these are really pretty too, so. Look, the chunkier? Yeah. So these like have like a mix in them. Oh, those are really pretty. Um, I just keep them all in the same box so I know where they are, but um, they're really nice as well. And you can do the same technique. Definitely you want the dauber as opposed to the pen for those, but like this just gives you that perfect polka dot. Right. Of course you could do ombre, you know, you could do different colors right. in each stripe. You don't have to do it all the same like we have, but there you go. There's your polka dot background. Oh, that makes me think of dill pickles. <sighs> and my son's <laughs> name's Dylan and we call there him dill pickles. So I could totally make him a card with that. But again, just really easy backgrounds. You know, you could rock out 25, 50, 100 of these just sitting there. Yeah. Really, really easy. So that is today's two minute tip. As always, everything is linked in the description for you. Also, I'm gonna add a link to Laura's blog. Go check out, she's a licensed artist. She has Sizzix dyes, calendars, all sorts of awesome, awesome stuff. So go check that out too. And of course, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's tip. And I will see you again tomorrow for another tip, trick, or tutorial. Thank you for joining us, Thank Laura. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. We've had so much fun so much crafting fun. together. And we're off to a conference this evening. So you'll be able to check out all the, that info on Instagram. And we'll still be having posts. You can go back and check those. And I'll yeah. see you again tomorrow. Happy crafting, everyone. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye.